a very good morning to all of you today we will start with the chromatography so when we are dealing with the chromatography it is a separation technique separation means we want to separate out different components which are present in a mixture so this particular technique you can say this chromatography technique it works by allowing the molecules to present in a mixture to distribute themselves between a stationary and a mobile phase so when we are dealing with the chromatography technique first of all the thing is that it is a separation technique and by using this separation technique we can separate the components which are present in a mixture and how this uh, component they get separated out they get separated out as they get separate out as they get mixed with the stationary or a mobile phase so the molecules that get mixed with the mobile phase they are carried along the mobile phase and they are get separated at a very fast rate so this is the chromatography means the technique which is used to separate the components which are present in a mixture so this chromatography technique it was given by the scientist teswit so in 1906 this scientist or you can say the teswit it uh, he perform a chromatography by using a plant pigment for example he take the Uh, leaves and he crushed them and then he separate out the chlorophyll a chlorophyll b xanthophyll different components which are present in the plant material so he called this technique a chromatography why because chroma means a color and so different colors they get separated out by using this particular chromatography technique so when we are dealing with the chromatography technique we are having two phases one is known as the stationary phase and the other one is known as the mobile phase when we are dealing with the stationary phase this particular phase it supports the sample to get adsorbed means it get the sample it make the sample to get a place to be adsorbed on it in the same manner when we are dealing with the mobile phase it helps the components to get mixed up and move along the mixture of the solvent so mobile phase means these are the different solvents it is a mixture of different solvents which help the component to get mixed up means the particular mixture it is having different components in it and some some component they get mix in one uh, solvent and some component they get mixed with the other solvent so it is mandatory that when we are using a mobile phase it is always a mixture of two or more solvents so when we are dealing with this chromatography technique we are having different type of chromatography so the first classification which we are dealing with this chromatography technique is that according to the mobile phase means what are the different solvents we are going to use to separate the components so on the basis of mobile phase the first chromatography technique which comes is the liquid chromatography so when we are dealing with the liquid chromatography it means in this particular chromatography technique the mobile phase it is a liquid so when we are having a liquid as a mobile phase at that time we are having two types of chromatography technique one is known as liquid liquid chromatography technique means both the stationary as well as the mobile phase both are liquid and the second one is liquid solid chromatography means a basic chromatography technique in which the mobile phase is a liquid one and the stationary phase it will be a solid one in the same manner when the mobile phase is liquid the other chromatography technique it is the gas chromatography so when we are dealing with a gas chromatography in this the mobile phase is a gas this is a particular technique or you can say a special technique in which gases are used as a mobile phase so when gases are used as a mobile phase at that time gas is a mobile phase means gas is a carrier one so at that time it is of two types gas solid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography in the same manner when we come on the second classification so the second classification it is according to the packing of the stationary phase means what type of material we are going to use in a stationary phase so when we are dealing with the stationary phase the first type of chromatography it is the thin layer chromatography and the second one it is the paper chromatography and the third one it is the column chromatography so these are the three different basic techniques which comes when we are using a stationary phase or you can say on the basis of a stationary phase so when we are dealing with the thin layer chromatography the stationary phase it is a thin layer which is supported on a glass or a plastic or a aluminum plates and this uh, stationary phase it may is the mostly the most commonly used stationary phase in tlc is the silica gel in the same manner when we are dealing with the paper chromatography the stationary phase is a thin film of liquid which is supported on an inert support in the same manner when we are dealing with the column chromatography in column chromatography also we are having the stationary phase 
which is packed in a glass column and mostly the in column chromatography we also try to use silica gel as a stationary phase now we come on the third classification and this third classification is the most important one as because this particular classification it is according to the force of separation means what are the different forces which are going to be used to separate a components from a mixture so the first one it is the adsorption chromatography second one it is the partition chromatography and third one it is the ion exchange chromatography fourth one it is the gel filtration chromatography and the fifth one it is the affinity chromatography so these are the basic chromatographic technique which we are going to use on the basis of force of separation means what are the different forces by which we are going to use we are going to separate the components which are present in a mixture now as we have dealt the basic uh, of the this chromatography technique now we come on what are the different uses where we can use the chromatography technique so the first and the main use of a chromatography technique is it is used to separate the complex mixtures means we can use we can separate different components which are present in a mixture and the second one is we can purify any soluble or volatile component as we are having different type of chromatography technique gas chromatography technique liquid chromatography technique so by using different type of chromatography technique we can purify the soluble or a volatile components by using a right adsorbent and a right mobile phase in the same manner when we are going to use a chromatography technique a small amount of sample it is used to give out the result to uh, uh, find out what are the different components which are present in this particular sample material in the same manner the next advantage is that a exact quantity analysis can be done from a small amount by using a very small amount we can give a exact quantitative analysis in the same manner analysis of several compounds can be done during one run in a single run means for um, example we take a paper chromatography in a single paper chromatography run we can find out the chlorophyll we can find out the chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and the xanthophyll or the carotenoids in the same manner this particular these are the different uses of the chromatography technique now we come with the disadvantage of chromatography so as older things as they are having a uh, advantage in the same manner they are also having some disadvantages so chromatography technique it is also having some disadvantages the first one it is the equipments so the equipments which are used in chromatography technique are very sensitive and they are expensive also so this is the first disadvantage now the second disadvantage is that during this chromatography technique we are going to use different solvents we are going to use different mobile phases so the mobile phases they are a mixture of solvents and these solvents they are expensive in the same manner when we are performing this chromatography technique high power consumption is used in different type of chromatography technique as we have deal different type of chromatography technique on the basis of force of separation so this particular chromatography they require high power of consumption and in the same manner high operational pressure is required to achieve good separation so these are the disadvantages of a chromatography technique so this is the basic of the chromatography technique in the next class we will deal about the types of chromatography technique